don't go anywhere without a watch. Even if I'm going abroad literally for a few days, I'm bringing a watch roll with me. Iman Ghazi, the self-made multi-millionaire from London with a watch collection worth an estimated $5 million. And all of that at the age of only 22. Last week, he had a million subscribers on YouTube. So that leaves me with only one option, which is to make a video about him. Grab your popcorn, lay back, and take a look at these 20 luxury watches that Iman Ghazi owns. Starting off with number 20, a special one because it is a left-handed watch. The latest GMT Master 2 Rolex. This left-handed GMT Master with a green and black dial on an oyster bracelet is very underrated. I think it's the best looking GMT of all. It's worth a solid $27,000. Number 19. On to Iman Ghazi's first luxury watch ever and that could only be one model. The Datejust model. At 18 years old, Iman Ghazi bought a two-tone Rolex Datejust with a black dial and diamond hour markers. Not a very special watch, but it kicked off one of the best collections I've ever seen. He paid around $15,000 for this watch. Number 18. The Rolex Oyster Perpetual with the Tiffany Blue Dial. This watch was worth 30k plus at some point. Because of the Tiffany & Co and Patek Philippe collaboration, the same dial color watches went up in price. It came back down to 15k, but Iman paid only 5k because he got it for retail. Like the turquoise blue dial. Yeah. It's not actually Tiffany. It's not a collab. They just call it the Tiffany dial. Really? Yeah, because it's Tiffany color. Are you sure about that? Yeah, 100%. I have one. This way, he got 90% of his watch collection, what makes it all even more crazy. I'll quickly explain what buying a watch for retail means. Luxury watches are made by hand, and therefore they can't be produced as much to meet the high demands. So over the years, people were willing to pay more than the retail price, so that they didn't have to wait for their watch, because it had too much demand and too little supply. So, on the secondary watch market, the watch prices went up. But Iman has built up a good relationship with authorized dealers over the years, which benefits him. Being able to buy all his watches for the retail price. Because of this, he has a watch collection of about 50 watches worth around $5 million. But he only paid around 2 to 3 million. So, he makes money wearing luxury watches. What a G. Number 17, the Rose Gold Aquanaut. This is not his only Aquanaut. He has even cooler and more expensive ones. This one is worth 90K. To bring it in perspective, the retail price is $43,000. That's crazy. On to number 16, his second watch, a two-tone Cartier Santos. He was a two-tone fan when he was 18 because he bought two two-tones. Two-tone means that there are two different materials in this case, steel and yellow gold. This Santos costs around $5,000. That's only 0.1% of his whole collection in terms of value. Those are rich people things. I didn't grow up rich. Like Number 15, the standard platinum Daytona. For him, the best Daytona there is. It is a stunning piece worth 130K. Number 14, the first Audemars Piguet of this list, but definitely not the last. There are a couple more coming up and one I bet you have never seen before. But first, his yellow gold Audemars Piguet Royal Oak with a blue dial and gold subdials. This watch is a solid 190k. Number 13, the Hulk. A Submariner but now fully in green, which is why it is called the Hulk. A very underrated watch worth a little over $25,000. Before we move on, remember how I told you Iman Ghazi just hit a million subs on YouTube? Nico Leonard also just hit a million on YouTube. He is my biggest rival and inspiration and he is from the Netherlands too. I'm not even at 1% of his subscriber count. Please subscribe so that I, Watch Seekers, can become the biggest watch related YouTube channel. I'm serious. Subscribe. Nico, I'm coming for you. On to number 12. Remember how I told you there would be a cooler Aquanaut? Here it is the Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5968A. The first Aquanaut with a chronograph function. It looks amazing and is worth $150,000. 
Number 11 is another AP, and this time it is the little brother of the last AP. This is the yellow gold blue dial Royal Oak, but not the chronograph version we discussed earlier in this video. This one is a bit more simple, but in my opinion, better looking. You probably wouldn't think so, but this one is worth 250k, 60k more than the other one. When you can spend 250k on a watch with only a date function, you're a certified baller. The top 10, starting with a more classic piece, an annual calendar Patek Philippe 5205 with a blue dial. It's a white gold watch with a crocodile leather strap. As he says, this is a watch he wears to dinners with his older friends and business associates. It's worth a solid 60 grand. Number 9 is actually not his own watch. This is a watch he gave to his mother. It's the classic 5711 Patek Philippe Nautilus. He used to own this watch himself, but he decided to give it to his mother. It's worth 150k. Number 8 is another Rolex. Another one. The 116519LN. These numbers probably don't ring a bell for you, so I'll just show it to you. This Daytona is pretty rare. You don't see it as frequently as other models on the Oyster Flex. I'm a big fan of the Oyster Flex strap. This watch costs $45,000. Number 7 might be Iman Gazi's favorite watch. What's your favorite watch, by the way? I know you're into that. Better one for the rest of my life, uh, 5711R. The Rose Gold 5711. He likes it more than the 5980R, its bigger brother, because that watch is too chunky in his opinion. The Rose Gold 5711 is worth 210K. Number six is the Panda Daytona. He also owned the reverse Panda, but he gave that to his mother as well. But he said he liked the reverse more, so he is sad he doesn't own it anymore and he wants to buy a second reverse Panda. The normal Panda is worth $35,000. We have to start off the top 5 with a banger, and that is in my opinion the best looking Royal Oak model there is, the Tourbillon Royal Oak. Iman has the yellow gold version with a blue dial. It looks so good. This watch is valued at 225 k Number 4. The first Richard Mill of this list, but not the last. The RM3501 Rafael Nadal edition is amazing and is worth $356,000. That's crazy. Number three won't disappoint. It's one of AP's latest watches. It's crazy that Iman has already got his hands on this watch. It dropped a month ago and it is nowhere to be found on the secondary market at this moment because it probably has only been sold to trusted clients like Iman. The retail price is $72,000 and I know for a fact that the price will be at least three times higher on the secondary market in a year time. Number two, another Richard Mill. Another one. A RM. M6702. He let Sneeko wear this watch in a stream they did together. A casual 500k watch. Nothing too special. Finally, on to number one. Another Audemars Piguet. The Platinum Green Sunburst Dial Royal Oak. This could be his best looking AP, but I don't know for sure. What do you guys think? This one or his Tourbillon AP? Let me know in the comments down below. Anyway, this AP costs $330,000. If you want to see another self-made millionaire with his watches, please watch this video about Andrew Tate and his watch collection. See ya!